up guys it's today's project we're gonna be doing something something uh i haven't seen that for the gen yet we got a redhead steering box with two extra portholes ram assist here with the AEV kit uh and we're gonna do a steering assist in this truck all right guys so we're at we chopped the old shock stabilizer shocks out pulled the old bracket off and now we're test fitting the ram which were pre-extended to four inches it extends all the way up to 80 inches uh pre-extended to four inches so we can get left and right now we're testing out the bolts we may have to drill some holes on the existing bracket here um av brackets fit well matches up lines up um, brings out the uh, kicks out the bolt hole a few inches so you can line up your psc uh ram assist um, other than that we're gonna start we gotta as you can see we got some some play here so we're gonna work on some uh some fittings some spacers once i got my mechanic working on over here all these spacers that came with the kit and we're gonna figure it out actually square there's our uh shock our stabilizer shock <coughs> okay let's get inside here what do we do we got a redhead steering box that we sought out with our stock uh, steering box so you got original portholes up here that's this one uh, we're gonna replace with we also have two additional portholes which are gonna go to my PSC hydraulic ram assist um, we did get some AV lines but we're running into issues this line is super tight I mean it works but it's ridiculously tight my concern is once you start flexing we're gonna rip this hose out so to solve that issue, went down to a local shop here in, in Utah. Got these custom lines made up with adjustable 90 elbows. We're gonna install them. Uh, they're a foot longer than the EV lines. And then uh, we'll test it out. Put some fluid in it, go for a flex test and see how it looks. PSC line is all cabled up. Most of that was all bolts on from the AV kit. We had to drill out the uh, the holes on the bracket, the stock bracket there a little bit to 11 sixteenths. Um, and it bolted right up. Um, if you're gonna do it yourself, just make sure you get an eight inch uh, PSC hydraulic uh, ram assist. And then uh, when you're setting it up, pull it out four inches, which is the halfway mark. And uh, it should bolt right up. Let's give something to talk about. So whatever you done, back to, uh, I don't know what I talked about earlier, but you can see, Cycling the tires, or cycling all the uh, steering, getting all the bubbles out. So you gotta do it uh, 10 to 15 times, left and right. Uh, let it sit for 10 minutes, pop the cap, look for any bubbles as the bubbles work the way up, and then just keep cycling so you don't see any bubbles. Um, again, I'm using this redhead uh, uh, steering, tire steering box, the PSC uh, ram, all connected up. Got these custom hoses from Eric's, uh, was it Eric's North America down here in, uh, in Utah, Ogden, Utah. Boom, boom, boom. All right, let's do a little talk about this uh, steering setup we got here. So, my new gearbox is from a company called Redhead Steering. Uh, it's a one to one match for uh, this is a 2019 uh, Power Wagon. Uh, the steering box is listed as the uh, 2500, 3500 uh, from was it 2012 to 2016? So that's the one you want to buy. Um, I went with Redhead because they uh, <coughs> you can purchase them pre ported to your extra ports. Your stock factory ports are up there at the top still, and there's two additional ports uh, which will run to uh, two hydraulic lines will run to your uh, hydraulic assist. We'll, go, we'll talk about that later. <clears throat> but back to Redhead. So one-to-one -one match, um, 2012 to 2018, uh, around 2,500, 3,500 is what we went with. Um, if you have a power wagon, you want to check your steering. So cycle your steering from all the way driver's side to all the way passenger side and find out how many rotations it does. If it's three rotations, your standard Redhead steering gearbox will work. If you have the rare power wagon that has four steering, 
uh, call Redhead directly. They can get you a custom um, gearbox going because it, it is going to be a difference. So if you center your wheels too, it's um, I'm dead center. If you go one and a half turns to the right and one and a half turns to the left, that'll be a three turn um, uh, steering. <clears throat> so once, uh, so when you're talking about pulling this bad boy off on your stock one you have these two these two lines you got to pull off and your steering linkage so make sure you drop the single bolt and your steering linkage that goes to the gearbox and these two uh, hydraulic lines once you're coming on this side you have three bolts bolt up two on the bottom one on the top once you drop those bolts this whole thing comes off and this motherfucker is heavy just so you know you can do this you can need some muscle and also maybe two people when you're bolting it up one person to put the bolt in one person to hold it <clears throat> all we did when we dropped this is we uh dropped the pitman arm uh, so you can need a pitman arm roller um pull it down uh once you drop the pitman arm just slide off to the side um, before you start have your wheels if you run in any of the AV uh, uh, kit there's a, a PDF that AV has you can download it kind of gives you the instructions but straighten out your wheel have your steering wheel straight when you first start this will be centered and everything will be centered <clears throat> all right so we got our hydraulic lines we did get the AV kit which had the hydraulic lines uh, but for, I don't know if it's because it's a 2019 model or what or something's different uh, But when I hooked up the lines the lines just weren't uh, Cooperating with me <clears throat> and the way we had to run the lines to get it to fit I didn't like there were too too much tension in the lines And I definitely want to be in a trail with all that tension and have one of my lines Hydraulic lines bust off because then it goes my steering and I'm stuck on a trail and some of the trails I go on I don't want to be bustling this bed way out of these of these trails with no no assist so we're gonna go ahead and get some custom lines made uh, from a company out here in Utah called uh, Eric's Eric's North America uh, we did use the AV clips clipping our jock lines here and then we'll let them use it tight and run them when you run your lines just check your track bar your steering linkage just make sure you don't put it, your lines anywhere in between these two bars. Because then uh, once you're flexing out there, you're going to sandwich it, bust the line. So I'm uh, ended up zip tying because it's here. I'm going to leave them loosely hanging. So I do get articulation, has all the slack to pull. So I don't have too much tension in the lines. <clears throat> and then you can see down here, we got our PSC hydraulic ram. And this thing before ram assist now this is an eight inch ram i'll put the part numbers for everything that i ordered uh off each individual site uh underneath uh the youtube channel on the description uh but this is if you're gonna run a 2019 ram or fifth gen ram uh it's eight inch um psc ram um so all the pieces i bought i didn't buy a kit there's no kit uh, so I bought the AV kit, which has the hoses and um, has these brackets that you swap out your stock brackets with. And that's what I used off the AV and the uh, the clips. Um, so I bought that little kit, bought the PSC uh, Ram Assist uh, off PSC themselves. Um, what else did I buy? Uh, the Redhead Steering Box I got from Diesel Power Products. Um, so if you're looking, check out Diesel Pro Power Products. They're very knowledgeable guys there they'll help you out they'll guide you uh, if you have any questions um, or you can go to redhead directly uh, but redhead you'd have to have a little bit of knowledge of your your shit uh, so if you don't call up diesel power products um, they have uh they'll, they'll help you out even with this gas truck here <clears throat> so what do we not doing so we need to soften out our um, brackets stock brackets for these AEV brackets which one to one match um, take off your shock that's here what the fuck's it called stabilizer shock and uh before you even start you want to pull off your clips to your ram assist and then pull out your uh your ram assist uh 
rod, it's about four inches. The full extension is gonna be eight inches. So we'll center it at four inches and you should line right up. <clears throat> now, now all this right here, when you're talking about these brackets are one-to-one -one bolt up. You don't have to do any changes. Uh, they're bolt right up. Um, make sure you put your ends on and then your jam nut. Um, so get it where you need to be at, set your jam nut. Uh, once I left everything loose, until we got everything in place, mounted on the truck, then I set the jam nut, tighten it all the way down uh, to prevent it from backing out. Um, key thing here for your stock bolts that go to your AV clamps, um, want some Loctite because those bolts most likely will loosen up or, or back out on the trail. <clears throat> so um, as you move forward after having this installed, uh, one of your routine checks should be checking your bolts and this will be one of the primary bolts you're going to check. So moving on to the bracket that goes right onto the axle. This is still the stock bracket uh, that attaches to the axle. Uh, what we need to do is pull the bracket off, take these bolts off, the whole bracket comes off. Um, and then we drilled out the holes to 11 16 size to get the bolt to go through. Now note, you do got spacers here and here, top and bottom. And you do have spacers here and up top all that will come with the uh, PSC kit which also has comes with some standard bracket that you can weld up but for your 2019 power wagon 8 inch PSC ram should be uh, one to one bolt up uh, no no uh, welding needed you see uh, originally the uh, AEV kit came with 40 degree bends and they have the bend end uh, but again, like I said, I didn't go with AV hoses, so my hoses are going straight in. So this what happens the way the hoses we got and how we crimped them, the position we crimped them in, we're able to go straight down. And we got all this slack up here, which will allow us to articulate and slack down here. And so it should be good to go. I didn't get any video of us pulling it apart or whatnot, but I don't think that's necessary. Um, you don't want to see me wrench and go through all the headache and all that shit. I mean, it's simple uh, unbolt, bolt on. Uh, nothing here was swollen. Oh, we did have to drill into the uh, cross member here and uh, to get our bolt to, to cl clamp our hoses down. So these ain't moving, this ain't moving. So run back here, we should be good to go. Outside there's a boxcar waiting for us It ain't in a rush so we can 